I'm trying to snoop the spy traffic from my ultrasonic evaluation board here and I have some difficulties because there are two ships on there that are using uh, spy and I don't have a test point for the ship selects. In practice it means that it's hard to distinguish the communication between the two ships certainly because the first communications are going to the ship that I don't want to uh, sample and it's only after a while that I'm getting communication in the TDC 1000 here, the ultrasonic sensing ship on this evaluation board. And so Texas Instruments board has three test points for SPY, uh, master in, slave out, uh, master out, slave in and the clock. And they didn't have a test point for the, uh, for the ship select, so I botched one in. I removed a piece of trace here on the back side, in the front side there is no trace. I could have soldered it on one of the pins of the ship but that was a bit too difficult and I couldn't do that uh, nicely. So I removed, scraped away a piece of uh, mask, uh, put one of these tiny wires in there and then used one of the veers to bring that wire up to the front. So I now have a ship select test point too and I can start sampling on the right position. You can see here through the magnifying glass that the uh, ship select is <laughs> coming from the back to the front through one of the other test point fears. Yep, everything is set up. We have the three official test points and the one that I've botched in, all connected to my logic analyzer. It's a Papilio Pro and we'll do some sampling now. As you can see, I have done some sampling, but let's try to take some new samples here. The way we're going to generate some spy traffic is by reading and writing some information to register on the TDC-1000 uh, ship. My trigger is going to be the ship select signal, that's the fourth signal here in the row. Uh, whenever the ship select is pulled low, which means active, I'm going to take a sample. I have put my logic analyzer into capture mode and it's now waiting for that ship select signal to happen uh, to start sampling. So if I in the GUI now do a read exercise, we would see the, the GUI here sampling. I'm going home and let's have a look at the data that we have here. A nice spy capture, uh, the ship select going low, the clock hammering away. The first 8 bits here, we're sending a command to the TDC 1000 and the second 8 bits, it's replying. Let's have a look at the protocol analyzer for spy here. Um, ship select is 3, that's correct. Uh, clock 0, MOSI 1 and MESO 2. Uh, we're going to auto detect here with the most significant bit first. We will honor the ship select and do an analysis. I should have sent something that says that I read to address uh, 1 and that's correct. This is the read write bit. It says 0 so that means that we're reading from address 1 and the reply that we get from the ship is the number 41 uh, hexadecimal. Let's now try a write exercise. So I'm arming my uh, logic analyzer again. Uh, in the GUI, we will write a 40, which is a reset to that register. I'm pressing write. Uh, the logic analyzer is capturing the information. Let's get it home and expand it a bit, the data. The difference you see with the previous capture is that uh, the right bit is high here, so the second bit entering into the stream is high, which is a right. This is again address 1. Uh, and instead of getting our reply back from the TDC 1000, we are sending the TDC 1000 what should be written. If we check the protocol analyzer here, we should see that the master in slave out doesn't do anything because the slave is not replying to us but that we are sending a write command to address 1 and that we are writing the value 40. That wasn't too difficult. The only tricky point was to botch in that wire on the ship select uh, trace, but in the end I was able to get all the information out of the board that I wanted. So we are now able to tap into the spy traffic with the TDC 1000. I'll have to botch in another wire to also get reliable uh, samples of the TDC 7200 timer ship, but once that's done, uh, all powers to me.